my focus all through grad school was supporting girls in STEM. Here's my story. I was doing research on just summer programs for some of the girls that we were working with in the projects that we were working on. I found this really cool, amazing summer camp. You'll love it. It was sponsored by the School of Engineering at Kansas, and the advertisement was so cool. You got to build bridges, blow stuff up, launch rockets. Sounds, Sounds cool, right? <laughs> Guess what? Last sentence in the advertisement for boys only. What? what? I know. 2005. It was not 1972 pre-Title IX. <laughs> like, what are we doing here? I made my way down to the Starbucks on Mass Street in Lawrence, Kansas, where Barb was working. And I stood there in front of her and spouted all the statistics. How dare they, I said. Only 10% of women go into engineering anyway. And now they're excluding them from the summer camp. What are they doing? And Barb just leaned back very calm, cool, and collected, looked at me over her reading glasses, and she said this. She said, you're at a point in your career where you can't just be mad about this. You have to do something. And that was like a mic drop for me. 